super composed. This is the best motorcycle I've ever ridden. I'm calling it. Right, Ducati Multistrada V4 Rally. This thing. You know that I loved the V4S, both on the road and was quite surprised off-road at how good it was. Well, this thing, this thing is dialed up to 11. I am sweating. I've just had a cracking ride. We'll jump back to that footage in a second, but let's talk about what it is and how good it is. So it's basically the V4S, but some major changes have taken place to both the suspension uh, and the tank, and a little bit on the front sort of screen area as well, but mostly the suspension and the tank. So it's got a 30 litre tank, massive range way past 500 k's um, and the suspension so we're talking now 50 millimeter diameter suspension up the front 200 mil travel uh, front and rear and that's given ground clearance an extra 15 mil so that's up to i think 235 mil now this is an actual a proper thing off-road it's a proper thing now um, and it it doesn't feel top heavy now it will if you've got the tank brimmed up but I've got it at about a quarter of a tank at the moment for playing around and it is just sublime. Out on the trails, it, it, it beggars belief just how playful this bike is. Like it's genuinely extraordinary. This is far and away the best full-size adventure bike I have ever ridden. Righto, let's go. So the main difference between the V4S and this rally is that suspension it's uh, noticeably better <laughs> oh god it makes you want to play this bike really does. I mean, I'm concentrating, but this has wolfed out a bit since uh, last time I was down here. Saturday afternoon, down by the coast, and the big girl. Soaking this up in its stride. Now we're running for Rally Scorpion Rallies. And I really rate them. Really rate them as a tyre. Love them. But look how well it's soaking this up. Really nice. Super composed. Bearing in mind, this is a big bike. God, that engine is just amazing. Woohoo! It's 
keep it clean. So, I loved the V4S. In fact, I don't think there is a Ducati V4 that is not going to float my boat. This engine is just... Oh my god, it's unbelievable. I want to have its babies. And the gearbox, that quick shift, the throw is nice and soft and gentle. It is delicious in so many ways. We're going to go across here today. Oh, you go this way. Oh, it is doing it pretty easy. <laughs> Easier than I am. Even that didn't bottom out and that was just absolute laziness and shit riding on my part. Man, this has warped up a lot. Only in a couple of weeks. Interesting. Okay. Um, I, I get the feeling that this video is going to be just me enjoying riding and not actually telling you about the bike very much. Because bloody hell, it's good fun. So, yeah, much much better suspension and they're focused in terms of the changes see even that's not bottoming out it's just I'm not sure I'm not sure I'd want to get to the point where this is bottoming out because yeah, you'd be going fairly quick and launching pretty hard off things So with this one, they're very much focused on off-road. Much better suspension capability compared to the V4S. Like you can tell, it is just lapping all of that up, no problem at all. Sand here should be okay today. Very soft there though. God, listen to that engine. So heaps and heaps of suspension travel and really that's the big thing. Together with the electronics, really make it super usable so still the same output as the v4s so we're talking this is a 170 horsepower v4 under here but not in the mode that i've got it in now so i've got it in enduro mode which limits it to 113 or 14 horsepower Not bottoming out. And it's super usable. It's just really nice. Traction control is awesome on this bike. Uh, we've got seven or eight levels of adjustment. And I've got it on setting number one. So it's slightest intervention and it just reins it in the tiniest amount but enough so you know 30 litre fuel tank that's going to get you more than 500 k's Maybe not if you're doing lots of this stuff, but... Um, and I don't have the tank filled right up at the moment. 
it's showing 106 k's but that's because I'm doing this um, it'll be about a quarter full and when it's full obviously there's a fair bit of weight in the top there is no denying that it's a lot better than what you think it might be now I went I went right the other day and run out of road so we might just roll through the left see what happens here oh yeah that's not bad this one um, the overwhelming impression I get of this bike and it defies it defies belief and it's just how playful it is like as a big bike and it is a big bike like there's no denying it but it's so playful unbelievably playful but yes it's got some it's got a refined front screen slash fairing for better weather protecting on long hauls and that's great and it works on the road for sure really cosseting hey <laughs> Twirling. but yeah it's just super playful and it shouldn't be able to be this playful for a big bike like this is easily the most playful big bike I have ridden by a mile a country mile Easily. I could almost, it's not as agile as the Tuareg, don't get me wrong, but. It's extraordinary just how playful this thing is. upsetting it in the slightest
don't know what to tell you about this bike. Other than, gosh, I wish they weren't starting from $41,000. Are down a bit, I was getting warm before. Um, so, yeah, prices the cost of entry is not low. 41 grand for your base model, 41 and a bit, I think, from being fair. Middle spec is uh, 46 odd, just a bit under, I think. Oh, that engine! Oh, gonna hit. Uh, and top spec. Well, this is top spec plus some. Is uh, just under 49 thousand dollars. Now, that is a lot of money. There is no denying that. But it seems that if you want the king, and this is arguably now the king, if you want the king, you better be prepared to pay the king's ransom. Oh my god, that is phenomenal. Let's go up and get a bit of a bit of static up here. Standing up position is great. Sitting down position is great. I'm puffing now. This urges you to really have a crack more than any other full-size adventure bike I've ever ridden. picks up the sound well enough. Ah, oh, sweet Jesus. That V4, good God. It is ridiculous. This is so well balanced. Suspension settings I've got are on medium. trying to do wheelies over here the other day for for the photos wowie wowie ah, if I was a millionaire there is no doubt no doubt that I would have one of these in my shed. 100%. <sighs> Clearly, <sighs> this thing is the new benchmark. The new benchmark for full-size adventure bikes that want to get rowdy. Those tyres, Pirelli Scorpion Rally, exceptional on this bike. They're a good tyre regardless, but they're they really transform this bike. This is the full fruit version. It has radar and the acrobatic exhaust and bash plate and it's, it's got that I don't have mounted at the moment but it's got aluminium side pods. It's got some additional extras. This aluminium and clear up here handguard. 
engine protection. Uh, I think I think those are the only extras. It comes, excuse my sniffles. It comes with the the standard, all the electronics that you would imagine: heated seats, heated grips, cruise control. It's actually radar activated. To be honest, I want I don't want radar. Personally, I think that's a solution looking for a problem that doesn't exist. I don't think there are many motorcycle riders that are running up the back of cars due to inattention. But maybe that's just me. So I would prefer it if it didn't have the radar. And there was an option with no radar, no hard luggage, engine protection, the cases and the exhaust. Mr. Ducati, that's what I want. And I suspect a lot of other Aussies will as well. But there is not a lot to fault with this bike other than the price because my god it is expensive you're looking at close to 50 grand which means really that you're gonna limit the amount of people who are gonna get to experience this you're gonna limit the amount of people who are gonna be willing to throw it around up fire trails like that and have fun you're gonna limit the amount of people that will actually genuinely experience how good this motorbike is simply by the price and that is a shame because <sighs> this thing is a unicorn it is unbelievable engine suspension electronics comfort i haven't talked about but it's super comfy it's far more comfortable than you know the super adventure 1290 way more comfortable and both Hunting along here, there's plenty of plenty of movement fore and aft. It's nothing's getting in your way. But also on the road, that seat is it's like a lounge chair. It's great. Pillion comfort is also really good in this. Had uh, the photographer Rob on the back the other day here when I was dinking him around, and he made the comment that it was super comfy, way more comfy than the last large adventure bike that I had him dinking on certain German 1300 and this thing doesn't have any issues with the gearbox so that's a win oh I think I'm in love I think if I could only have one motorbike in my shed money no object oh I reckon this is probably it now I reckon this is the dream bike Pretty flash. Alright, enough of this. Standing around. Let's um let's have some more fun, shall we? Yes please. Sublime. Surely motorcycles can't get any better than this. Surely that 
that is impossible. So much grip and feel. It is. I'm struggling to describe just how good this bike is. Christ almighty. What have I got to sell? Anyone in the market for a kidney? This is the best motorcycle I've ever ridden. I'm calling it. 